So in this video we will actually start taking inputs in our game. So let's get started. So we have already created this move left, move right and stop functionality by which we can move our paddle. So now we just need to tell Unity when to call this move left, when to call this move right and when to call this stop. So basically what we want to do is since as of now we will add functionality to keyboard inputs so that we can move it left and right by pressing the left and right arrow keys on our keyboard so we need to tell it we need to tell the script that whenever we press the left arrow key then call this move left function whenever we press the right arrow key call this move right function and whenever we are not pressing any keys call this stop function so that the velocity will be zero and it will not move anywhere okay so in order to do that we have an easy way to do that in unity if we want to take inputs there are various ways by which we can do that but we are gonna do it in a way by input dot get access unity has some inbuilt preset access by using which we can actually take inputs if we can go to edit project settings and then go to input as you can see here we have some axis and if I click on this triangle as you can see we have all these different axis set up if I click on this horizontal as you can see for the horizontal axis the positive button is right that is our right arrow key and the negative button is left that is our left arrow key okay so this axis is called or activated whenever we press the left and right arrow keys so what happens is whenever we press the left and right arrow keys the value of this axis goes between minus one and plus one okay so the minimum value for this axis is minus one and the maximum value is plus one so since the negative button is left so when we press the left arrow key the value will go from zero to minus one and when we press this positive button which is right arrow key the value will go from zero to positive one okay so if we want to get positive inputs then we need to press the left arrow key if we want to get n n I'm sorry if we want to get negative inputs then we need to press the left arrow key and if we need to get positive input then we have to click on the right arrow key okay so if we want to take inputs by using this axis which is horizontal then we need to write input dot get axis and inside that within quotations we need to write the name of the axis okay within double quotations we need to write the name of the axis now as you can see the name of this axis is horizontal so we're gonna write horizontal okay so what we'll what we will do is this input dot get axis will get the value from this horizontal axis every frame and it will return that value okay so if we want to use that value which we will get from here then we need to store that value inside a variable so we can write another variable float x and write equal sign and don't forget to end it with a semicolon so now what will do what will happen is this input that get access horizontal will give us a value between negative one zero and positive one and that value will be stored inside this x and since the value will be stored inside x so by using the value of the x or by checking the value of this x variable we can actually see whether we have to move left whether we need to move right or whether we need to stop okay so first of all we can say that whenever the value of x is 0 that is we are not pressing any left or right arrow keys at that time the value of x will be 0 since input dot get access will return 0 that time we need to call the stop function so we can write an if else statement like this we can write if x is equal to zero then we need to call the stop function okay so whenever the value of x is zero 
we need to call this stop function okay and if the value of x is less than 0 so when we are pressing the left arrow key then the value of x will be negative that is less than 0 then we want to call move left function so that we can move our paddle to the left direction and if x is greater than 0 that is whenever we are pressing the right arrow key on our keyboard then we want to call the move right function okay so let me go with it one more time this input that get access horizontal will give us a value according to whether we press the left or right arrow keys or we don't press anything so when we press the left arrow key it will give us a value between 0 and negative 1 when we press the right arrow key it will give us a value between 0 and positive 1 and when we don't press anything it will give us a value 0 so we are storing that value every frame inside this x then we are checking if x is less than 0 if x is less than 0 that is we are pressing the left arrow key then we want to move left if x is greater than 0 that is we are pressing the right arrow key then we want to move right and if x is equal to 0 then we want to stop okay so by using these three conditions we are calling these three functions in our game okay so now let's go ahead and check how it is working so in the game I can just click on this play button and now if I press the left arrow key it moves left if I press the right arrow key it moves right and if I don't press anything if I don't press anything it just stops okay so as you can see now we can control it by pressing the left and right arrow keys on our keyboard and our paddle is moving great okay so this is it for this video in the next video we will add more functionalities to our game